Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Let me start the episode by saying, I'm sorry. So, this, if, you've probably noticed, my Zumbinis videos have gotten more sporadic in terms of updates as of recently. I was usually, I would like to think, pretty good about uploading them on time, but there was a gap where I could not... I did not upload Zumbini's videos, and that was because I encountered the Stone Rise, and I've really been racking my brains as to how to solve this level in a nice solution that works every time. Now, there is there are algorithmic solutions for this level. There are, and for the first three difficulties, I've been able to find solutions that work for them. Maybe they're not incredibly user-friendly, but they at least work well enough. Well, that works for everything except the very, very hard rank. Now, there is a solution, there is an algorithm that you could potentially use to solve this level. Now, the problem being, A, it's incredibly difficult to program. Well, it's very time-consuming to program, and it's going to be very inelegant in terms of the solution. But the real reason that I have not show made this algorithm, and I am not going to show it off today, is because it would be completely unreasonable for a user to be able to do that. Simply put, you would need, as a user, to manually input every single link exactly where it is and which ones it connects every single time. That is not... That's... To simply put, I don't want to put the user through that. I don't... I personally don't want to have to look at this and be like, alright, link number one connects these two panels and it has an eyeball here, then link number two... Like, no, nobody wants that. That would be way too complicated. Now, one thing I wish I could do is I wish I could just have a user take a screenshot and submit it, and the program will parse the data and be like, alright, so we've got Zumbinis that have these traits, and we've got this link, and it, uh, it looks like the puzzle looks like this. We're good to go. But, alas, that's not the way it turned out. There's no way for me to make an algorithm for this, and the problem is, much like Captain Kitchen's Fairy, you can try the heuristic solution where you just put guys down and hope for the best, but the problem is, like Captain Kitchen's Fairy, the only solution I can find that works every time is a brute force solution. Try every single possible combination of Zumbinis in every single possible place, and hope that works. And I don't I don't like solutions that don't promise the perfect solution every time. I don't like those. So I'm not gonna show those off. And that's that's a bit of a problem, but also a little bit of a relief. It's it's taken me a long time. I've really been racking my brains trying to find a way to have a solution that you can just quickly and easily run and it tells you what to do, but I can't find one for this level. It's it's too much. So once again, if you if you encounter this level well, you're pretty much just going to have to do what I did in my main Let's Play, which is my general solution where you just kind of find the longest train of traits in a row. And for this one, there isn't a giant trait. We're like, oh, we need like 10 Zumbinis that have the same nose. I wonder what that has to be. And you have like 10 red nose Zumbinis or whatever. Doesn't always work like that. So sometimes you just... Sometimes you just really got to just try stuff and hope for the best, or just realize I don't care about this game that much and give up. That also works. Now, the good news is there is one solution that I have found that is very easy to do and works every single time and it's very easy to execute. And I will show that off in the next level, but here's the thing. <laughs> much like Captain Cajun's ferry boat, it's a cheater solution. And it doesn't work for practice mode. Anyhow, I just wanted to make this video apologizing for my bad update schedule for this game, and I, as well as apologizing that I could not get a good algorithmic solution for this level, because, honestly, I wish I could, and I've been racking my brains over the last weeks trying to figure this out, and I couldn't. So, I'm sorry. That's, that's why there's no very, very hard algorithmic solution, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to upload or make the, the other solutions. I might just say... You know what? Nobody really cares. The first three difficulties are reasonably easy. I don't need an algorithmic solution for that. You can just do what you did in story mode. Because again, it's all going to come down to you need to manually put in every single link and their position. For not so easy, that'll be pretty darn easy. Oh, so hard will get a lot harder. And then very hard will be... Well, it's, well, it'll be a lot better than very, very hard in terms of inputting the links. There are still long chains that wrap around each other. And some of them might be blank, and some might not. And it might not be very user-friendly to uh, 
as an of an algorithm. So I don't know about that yet. I'll just have to see where my heart takes me. Anyhow, that's the reason I have not uploaded the algorithmic solutions for this uh, puzzle. And that is why my upload schedule for this game has been wonky as of recently. Just wanted to say that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.